Man, do we have quite the massive terrorism plot for you here that was thankfully foiled. The FBI did some great work preventing this. The Washington Post reports, three members of a small militia group calling itself the Crusaders have been accused of plotting to target hundreds of Somali Muslim immigrants in Kansas. Prosecutors have charged Curtis Allen, Patrick Stein, and Gavin Wright with conspiring to use a weapon of mass destruction in Garden City. The suspects plan to detonate truck bombs around a small apartment complex where about 120 Somali residents live. The complex is also home to a mosque. The prosecutors also said the men talked about attacking some of the churches in the area which have helped settle refugees and help them get jobs at Tyson Foods, the meatpacking company that has drawn a diverse immigrant population to this area. Uh, so let me give you some of the direct things they said here. One of the people, his name, uh, again, last name Stein, it's Patrick Stein, uh, at various times yelled at Somali women dressed in traditional garb, calling them, quote, fucking raghead bitch. More, quote, make sure if you start using your bow on them cockroaches, make sure you dip them in pig's blood before you shoot them. At a meeting a month later, Allen suggested the group make hundreds of signs saying this, I support illegal immigration. I go against the Constitution on a daily basis. I do not have any care for my fellow citizens in the state or in the town that I represent. And then for every one of them that we, that we blow the top of their head off, we just put that around their neck. So you see what he's saying there? Make signs that say, basically say, like, you're a traitor. I'm a traitor to my country. And then shoot their fucking head off. Behead them. Uh, and then put that around their neck. So all, all the liberals who, like, are kind to the Muslims shoot their head off and then leave that sign around their neck calling them traitors. Uh, and also, quote, The only fucking way this country's ever going to get turned around is it will be a bloodbath and it will be nasty, a nasty, messy motherfucker. So, again, they found a, a giant arsenal with them. They had car bombs that they were going to use, and they had plans to specifically wage a huge attack directly uh, after the election, I think a day after the election. So great work by the FBI foiling this. And look, you, you got to call it out for what it is in this respect. <laughs> if this was a plot by ISIS that was foiled, and ISIS was going to do an attack, a giant attack like this, Inside the U.S. the day after the election, this would be number one trending news. Every mainstream media outlet would cover it till the fucking cows come home, and they would be on it for a week straight. Since it's, it's right-wing terrorists, they got very little coverage. It just did. It just did. It just did. I mean, that's just the nature of the beast, and this is what they can't hammer away the narrative that it brings fear to most people in the U.S., so it just didn't get as much coverage. Because we do have this weird thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it is. But we do have this weird thing where certain things get more downplayed than others. So, uh, for example, mass shootings. Did you know there are... Forget mass shootings. Just shootings. Death by guns in the United States. When you tally up all the gun deaths... In the U.S. every year. It's over 32,000. Now, you might say, well, Kyle, that includes suicides. That's not fair. Okay, just look at homicides. It's over 11,000 every year. Guys, other modern nations have less than 100. So we have over 11,000 every year, but it barely gets discussed. Look, I'm guilty of it, too. There will be a, there will be a mass shooting somewhere, and like... Three pe two people, three people, whatever the, the bar is, are people who will have been killed. And it will be over a personal dispute, as opposed to going to a mall, say, and doing a random shooting. So, you know, people pass on it. Okay, another three or four people dead here. Whatevs, let's move on. No, but that's a big story! That's a big story, and statistically, it's a much... There's a much higher chance you'll die in that kind of a situation than in a situation where ISIS kills you! <laughs> But we have this thing where the media will play up the threat of ISIS here in the U.S. and downplay the threat of gun violence, and that just paints a, a, a picture that's not borne out by the numbers. 
Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying ISIS is a non-issue. Of course it's a giant issue. If I lived in fucking Iraq or Syria, I'd be fucking terrified of ISIS. Rightfully so. So it is a big issue, and it does deserve coverage. But in terms of what's happening in the U.S., and what you're more likely to die from in the U.S., Yes, it is a mass shooting. Here we have an instance of a right-wing terror attack, and many outlets aren't even calling it a terror attack, and skewing people's men mental picture of it. Now, look, you can, you can disagree with how they do these studies, and what's counted as a terror attack, and what's not counted as a terror attack, but there are studies, some even done by the government, by the FBI, by the Department of Homeland Security, that say right-wing terrorism in the U.S. is a bigger threat than Islamic terrorism. Now, again, there are much fewer Muslims, so there's still an, an I guess you could say, an overrepresentation, a disproportionate number of Islamic terror attacks, but uh, in terms of the raw numbers, you are more likely to die in some sort of a right-wing attack uh, than in Islamic terror attack, a, a religious attack, I should say, because they're both technically right-wing. But again, it, it doesn't... That kind of pops the bubble of the narrative, so it, that doesn't really shine through, and people don't get that perception. So all I want is objectivity. That's it. All I want is objectivity. So I would like the same kind of coverage for what happened here with these right-wing terrorists as there would be if it was ISIS that had their plot foiled. And you're not going to get that, and that's a shame because to an extent it's journalistic malpractice.